Hey everyone, Mice here. Welcome to another Princess Connect video. So um, this is the June Hard Node Shop Shard, um, all that jazz guide for um, units that we should be farming for. So if you saw my May um, Hard Node or Shop Shard guide, you can see that uh, there isn't much change. Um, however, with the introduction map 13 around mid June, um, as well as finishing, I finished up some of the uh, units I was farming. Um, just wanted to share uh, my thoughts on what we should be aiming for. So in terms of dungeon, so if you're a beginner, you should aiming for, uh, you should be aiming for Nozo the tank first, um, and then Mitsuki for CB, Yukari for all around um, CB and PVP, as well as a bunch of uh, other game nodes like Story, Akari, and then Kuka. Um, so I think this is quite standard to people that have started at launch, and then uh, Kiaru to five um, definitely. If you were uh, using the mage team in the last clan battle, uh, she was five already. However, I do not think that um, in the next CB mages will be used as much, if at all. So uh, Kiaru to five, you can still work on her because um, Kiaru at five will see some play um, with even with physical mixes. Um, and then Maho would be the last one. And we just had a event, so some people already have Maho at five star. Um, and then in terms of arena, um, there's only two units that are really worth it right now, Hiyori and Tamaki, so uh, I've done both, and uh, I spent a lot of arena coins on Misogi, I was gonna meme with her, but uh, I realized probably not a good idea, so I've stopped, and I've been exchanging coins for Monica. Um, other people can also go for Reno. Uh, Reno Bomb is still quite good. Uh, Reno Cannon runs uh, decently against Ilya, and Ilya is kind of running rampant at the moment. So in Arena, you can um, use it to stop some of the teams. Um, so Reno, if you have her, uh, you can definitely go ahead and exchange. And in terms of P Arena, um, so your Suzuna and Kauri, um, Kauri should be done for sure. Suzuna should be close and then work towards your Miyako 5. But again, with so many mages, Miyako isn't going to be that good, um, but she can still see play as a tank. Um, Hatsune and Ana is your next priority. Um, you can 5 star them. If you're close from the Hatsune event, uh, which was our first event, you can spend some on Hatsune. But uh, personally, I'm probably just going to save because I don't think I'll use either of these um, um, until much, much later. And then in terms of the clan coins, um, always spend it on Makoto until your Makoto's 5. If your Makoto's 5 already, here are a few choices. You can do Isle, um, you could do Suzume to 3 star, Yuri is also viable as well, but to a lesser extent in my opinion. Chika you can also do to Chika 3 star, um, but if you do Chika 3 star, you cannot watch the story bond. Um, because that will mess up your Christmas Chica when she comes. So actually I don't think exchanging for Chica shards is a good idea because of the chance of breaking when you forget. Um, so those are the clan. Um, personally I'm just exchanging Makoto and kind of waiting. I don't know why I have so many Yuri shards. Oh, it's because um, she was once a, a uh, reward for clan battle. And in terms of story, so story has seen a few changes I think. Uh, let me just go to the story main quest. So um, we'll be getting map 13 um, on the 12th or the 13th of June, which will include a Kokoro map, a Yuki map, and a Jita map. So Kokoro is still going to be high priority. You want Kokoro to be at least 4 star, if not 5 this time around. Uh, I think 4 star uh, will work. I ran a 4 star Kokoro in the last CB uh, in Scarlet, so it was fine. And then uh, Jita, you want to start farming her. Um, even if you have a copy of Jita, you can still spend some stamina there uh, because of the uh, in preparation of the Jita Yugi later. And as a flex DPS, Jita is not bad as well. But uh, definitely a bit low on the priority, but it's good to have the node because it drops good items for uh, the rank 10, uh, rank 9-6 preparation. So going back, Kokoro, um, you can farm all three shards if you have her a three star. If you have her a four star already, you can just farm the map 13 uh, plus the one before that to farm it slowly because the two previous nodes before that drops really early, um, early gear like the silver ones. So it's not really worth it anymore. So personally, I would probably just farm map 13. And then Saren, uh, if you don't have a copy of Saren, still 
work on her with the summer event uh, plus the two Seren nodes you'll be getting a copy after the event is over pretty much um, so if you don't have her you can definitely get her now and uh, if you do have her farm her until she's four star so i have her at four star and 20 or 30 shards uh because of the new event and the new map th um uh, new event and the the hard nodes in the new event will include seren shards as well so i'll be five starting her off of that uh, nino have um, and nino has the two nodes that you should be farming nino at five is still great there are Ilias running around and you can run nino defense as well in princess arena and battle round um Mimi, so I've finished my Mimi to 5, she unfortunately did not see any play in the last clan battle, even though I have her kind of uh, 5 starred and geared, um, which is too bad, um, I think she's starting to fall off, but uh, we should be able to see her uh, as a team 3 physical team flex DPS uh, in the next clan battle. Shiori to 5 was done, um, so yeah. With the two nodes, it's a lot faster. Erico, I'm almost, I almost have Erico at five, um, so do farm that. Erico will be getting stronger and stronger because of her uh, gears that as she rank up, I think the rank 10 gear or the 11 ones are really, really good for the axe users. Um, so definitely farm Erico to five star. And then Shinobu, you want to prioritize her farming till three. And then once she's three star, just stop. Um, don't go beyond that and do not break her. Keep her at R8-5 not equipping the middle left piece. In terms of the medium uh, priority, because I've finished so many things here, I actually, uh, I've been farming the two Rima nodes daily, uh, even though my Rima is rank one, I think, uh, level one, uh, just in preparation for the future. And uh, I'm pretty much done with all my gear pre-farms. So uh, yeah, I can spend those extra stamina on Rima. And then Shizuru, I finished her at four star. Um, you only need her to be at four star for some of the uh, Luna Tower autos, so uh, you can go to five if you want, but four star is good enough. And then S Pico, sorry, normal Pico. Um, we have the two nodes. I haven't been farming, um, but I know that a lot of people have been prepping ahead because she is one of the first unique equipments to come, and um, they have her five star, and uh, they almost are done with her UE pre farm. Um, so uh, I'm not too concerned. Um, I don't think Global will be pushing unique equipments early, so we will get them at our first anniversary or slightly later than that. So there's plenty of time. Um, so yeah, that is the June, uh, the month of June hard node and the shop guide for Princess Connect. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, and I'll put this in the description. Um, because I think uh, last time someone requested and even create a text bin for it, so thank you. Uh, but I'll, I'll make sure I remember and put this in the description this time.